Hey guys, Jed's here. Welcome to the channel. I hope you're all having a great day. In today's lesson, we're going to be solving quadratic equations by factorizing. In order to understand this topic, you have to know how to factorize quadratic expressions. So I'm going to leave a link in the description below just in case you guys need to check that out. Also, at any stage, if you learn something from this video and you wish to support the channel, please hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you. Now let's get on with the lesson. Here, we are being asked to solve the following. x squared plus 6x plus 8 is equal to 0. How you'd approach this is to factorize it. It is a quadratic trinomial, so it factorizes into two brackets, and the first bracket is going to contain x plus 2, while the second bracket will contain x plus 4. Now you can go ahead and take each bracket and equal it to zero. So we have the following, x plus two is equal to zero and x plus four is equal to zero. Now you can go ahead and rearrange for x in each expression to get your answer. In this case, I'm gonna subtract two from both sides and I'm gonna be left with x is equal to negative two. And in this case here, I'm gonna subtract four from both sides, leaving us with x is equal to negative four. And there you have it. This is how you solve a quadratic equation by factorizing. And just to make a note, this technique where you can take each bracket and equal it to zero, this only works if your quadratic expression is equal to zero. So if you have a quadratic expression that is not equal to zero, manipulate that first to get it equal to zero, and then you can proceed as we have just done here. And that is how you solve quadratic equations by factorizing. Let's take a look at another example. Here we have x squared plus 7x is equal to 0. Now this is an example of a quadratic binomial. Quadratic binomials factorize into a single bracket. Now we can take out the common factors. In this case, the common factor in both terms is an x. And we are left with x plus 7. And this is equal to 0. Now similar to the previous example, since we don't have two brackets here, we have a term and a bracket. Nonetheless, we're going to take the term, in this case x on the outside, and equal that to 0, and that's one of your solutions. And we're going to take this bracket, x plus 7, and equal it to 0. Now we have to rearrange for x, so I'm going to take away 7 from both sides. And this leaves us with x is equal to negative 7, which is our second solution. Now let's take a look at our final example. Here we have a quadratic trinomial where the coefficient of x squared is greater than 1. So the number in front of x squared is larger than 1, and in this case it's 2. How to solve this by factorizing is to factorize as you normally would. So it's going to be 2 brackets, which is equal to 0. And if factorizing these quadratics are a problem, definitely check out our video on how to factorize harder quadratics. And I've also left a link for this video in the description below. So in this case, I know the factors are going to be 2x plus 1 and x plus 3. Now I take each bracket and equal it to 0. So we're going to have 2x plus 1 is equal to 0 and x plus 3 is equal to 0. Rearranging for x in each equation, we'll get the following. So I'm going to apply minus 1 to both sides, and this gives us 2x is equal to negative 1. Now I'm going to divide both sides by 2, and this gives us x is equal to minus a half. So that's our first solution, and now to solve this equation here, to get the second solution, I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides, and this is going to leave us with x is equal to negative 3. And there you have it. This is how you solve quadratic equations by factorizing. I hope you've learned something by watching this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Subscribe and like to support the channel. Thank you very much for watching and take care.